Hi, this is just a quick video to demonstrate how to download the source code for one of my sample libraries and open it in highs. Now I'm on the source code page for Sophia Woodwinds. We're going to go to clone or download and click download zip and hit OK. I'm going to open my downloads folder and we can see the zip file is there. And I'm just going to export that to the desktop. You probably want to put it in a more appropriate location. So we can delete the zip file now. And now if we go to the desktop and open the folder, we can see it contains all the files to show the hidden files, all of the files that were in the GitHub repository. So that's the first stage. We're almost done. It's not much more to do. If we go inside the scripts folder, there's this high scripting framework folder and there's nothing in there at the moment. If we go back to GitHub and click the scripts folder and go to the high scripting folder, we can see it's got this at symbol there and there's some numbers after it. So we're going to click on the framework here. So we're going to click clone or download again, download as zip. And we can go back to the downloads folder. And there's the framework. So we're going to open that. We're going to open the folder within there. And I'll just move this out of the way. So we're going to go back to the project that we exported on the desktop. Back to the scripts folder. Back to the high scripting framework. And we're going to copy all of these files. Just drag them across into the scripting framework. So we're not taking this root folder. We're taking the contents of the folder. I'm putting in the high scripting framework folder we downloaded earlier. That's the project set up. So now we should be able to just open this in highs. So I'll open highs. We'll go to file, load project, desktop, and hit OK on that. And it asks us if we want to load the project's XML file. We can hit OK on that. And the project's loaded. Now, if you didn't see that pop up for the XML file, sometimes things don't always go correctly just go to file and you can click open xml file and you'll be able to select it in here okay thanks for watching guys i hope this was helpful to you and i'll see you next time